A 45-year wait for an Idaho veteran came to an end Saturday night when Jerry Blackburn received the Purple Heart from, the Ida from Idaho Senator Mike Crapo. Summer Joy was there and has our story. Blackburn served with the United States Army in the Vietnam conflict for two years. And on what became one of the bloodiest days during that time, called the Tet Offensive, Blackburn volunteered to help provide rear security for an officer's quarters in Saigon. The truck, you know, was hit with numerous explosions and, and lots of weapons fire. All 22 of the MPs that were on that truck were injured, and ultimately most of them died. That's basically where this came from. Uh, during the period of time I was in the alley, um, probably a little over two hours, uh, with lots of explosions and, and gunfire, and I ultimately was uh, injured and forced to withdraw. Blackburn says he thinks this long-awaited honor is in part to how many soldiers lost their lives that day and the thousands that were injured during that time. But now, 45 years later, on Saturday night at the Vietnam War Memorial at Freeman Park, friends and family gathered as they got to see their friend, father, and grandfather receive the Purple Heart. I'm, I'm very proud of him. Um, you're going to make me cry. <laughs> uh, for the service that he rendered his country, and then to have it take so long, but it's just wonderful to see him received this award for what happened so long ago. I, I feel like he really does deserve to receive this. Uh, I'm, I'm grateful for Senator Crapo and his staff for making this possible. And uh, I know it's been a long road, but it, it's just been a, a wonderful thing to have family and friends come and be able to share this with him. Senator Crapo says that this event is not only very important for the individual, but to offer hope to other veterans who might be experiencing a similar situation. I think it's really important to the people of Idaho and to the people of our country to, to recognize those who have put their lives on the line for our freedom. And I believe this is one of the most important things that we can do, is to remember our veterans. The award itself means a lot to me, but I think it means more maybe to a lot of other veterans. And I'm hoping that other veterans who are in need of assistance and who didn't get recognized through their efforts from years ago understand that there's a path to do that. Summer Joy, KPVI, New 6. Senator Crapo also added that his office is working to help speed up the response for veterans seeking health care and other services through the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs.